we were reacting to all Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 voice lines using this soundboard. We'll hear all the best voice lines from Catnap, Poppy, Miss Delight, and more. And even listen to some voice lines that were deleted from the game. Oh, these voice lines were insane, and we could not believe what all the characters actually said. Are you ready to hear all the voice lines from Poppy Playtime Chapter 3? Let's go! First up is Dog Day. You, you're Poppy's angel. Come to save us. Nothing left to save. Huh? Not here. Bird can't absolute angel. Wow, so guys, we're gonna listen to every single voice line in Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. I didn't realize that Dog Day calls us an angel. That's kind of interesting. Thanks. A million pairs of eyes are on you now. Watching, waiting, hungry. They want nothing more than to crawl beneath your skin and eat away at you bit by little bit. Fill what feels empty. Wow, that's like a secret voice. And so he's talking about the smiling critter guy. We'll put a clip on screen from when we played the game and they crawl inside Dog Day. He's saying the small, like, smiling critters want to crawl inside your skin and then eat you from the inside out. And they're going to fill themselves up because they feel empty inside, which my little bro Adam feels that way sometimes, bro. Always. That thing, Catman, the prototype is his god. And this is what he does to heretics. These little toys follow catnap to avoid that very fate. And in return, they are fed. <clears throat> we try to fight it. The prototypes control. I am the last of the smiling critters. Wow, so Dog Day is the last of the smiling critters. Catnap must have done the same thing to Dog Day to everyone else, which is super creepy if you think about it. Now, guys, check this out. This video will be linked down below. Shout out to this channel. Guys, they actually put details. The species of Dog Day is Toy Dog. Bigger Bodies Experiment. That's the experiment that Adam's on right now. <laughs> okay, and the pendant is a sun, and the scent, the, the way it smells, is vanilla. That's so interesting. Oh, you need to get out of this place. You need to live. You and Poppy could fix this. And this madness. The torment. Huh? Oh no. Oh no. Leave me. Please. Just go. Run. Ah. Uh, oh. No. Jump scare, jump scare. <gasps> ah, that was Dog Day. Huggy Wuggy's up next. Hug a day keeps the monsters away. Two hugs a day is better in every way. True. Hugging forever. Yup. Hugs are non-stop. I'm gonna hug you until you pop. What? No. <laughs> wow, guys, that is the classic Huggy Wuggy jump scare sound. That is crazy that it starts out nice. He says a hug a day keeps a monster away. Then he says, I'm gonna hug you till you pop. That's so creepy, man. Never trust TV Huggy. Bro. Catnap. Sounds like a stomach when you're hungry. Sounds like Adam's tummy when he's, when he's eating some gas station food. What? Wait, guys, I never heard that in the game when we played it. He says, leave play care or I'm coming for you. So he actually gives you a warning. He says, okay, he lets you leave. Um, and then he says the prototype will save us. Let's hear that. The 
part we put a clip on screen. That's where the prototype grabs Catnap with his hand like this. Catnap standing there and goes whoosh like so that. So why do you think he said the prototype will save us, but then the prototype turned right around and oofed him in the neck? That's his way of saving him. He's gonna take him with him. <laughs> yup, yup, yup. Cat toy. Mr. Light? This is Mr. Light speaking. Please excuse the interruption. Students, remain in your seat until the bell has rung. And no going in the halls without a hall pass. Wait, I recognize you. Yes, I remember. You used to work here. How are you? Alive. Wow, so Miss Delight's voice lines actually tell us some of the most lore out of anything in Chapter 3. So guys, the player who we've been playing as in Chapter 1, Chapter 2, and Chapter 3 is someone who used to work in the Poppy Playtime Factory. And she says, I remember you used to work here. Guys, this is crazy. Huh? Barb? Barb. Oh. Barb says you're looking for your co-workers. Catnap wouldn't like that you're here. You should leave. For your own safety. Not a good listener, are you? You're a lot like the other humans in that way. I wonder if your screams will sound like theirs too. Huh? <laughs> I look forward to finding out. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hear that? I've never heard that before. She laughs. She goes, <laughs> before she oofs you. Wow. And then we learned, yeah, it says crushed brutally by the door. She actually gets oofed in the game, guys. She's a different species. The other ones were the big bodies experiment. This is the living toy organism. Lit. Mommy long legs. Wait. She's in chapter three? That's a secret. Daddy long legs. Oh. Poppy. No, no! Let go! They didn't do anything wrong. We we're actually here to help. <sighs> this place makes her tense. I'm glad that Ollie could help you get this far. He's the reason we found you at all. Yeah, so guys, in Pipeline of Chapter 3, the person that's talking the whole time is called Ollie. We don't actually know what Ollie looks like. We might find out in this video. Now, guys, here's a big, big, big leak. Look over here. The species is also living doll organism. This is a ju this is just a lanky theory. But what if Poppy's mom is actually Miss Delight? And then maybe Mommy Longlegs is Miss Delight's mom. How did you get what? How? Why do you think that? It's a double mom. I, I really Stop don't know. Stop talking nonsense. I have a real theory. I think Mr. Light might be a mommy. Looks like the train crash hurt us both. You've been through so much. You deserve an explanation. Come on. Hey, you'll be okay. We'll be okay. Listen, I'm not your enemy. But I can't just let you leave. What's happening down here is bigger than all of us. And I need you. So we can get revenge on those monsters who've tortured you. Who've tortured us. Yeah. They didn't act alone. They're disciples of the original. The prototype. Do the honors? Prototype knows we're coming by now. If you try to escape, he'll kill you before you ever reach that front door. He's the reason I was trapped in that god awful case for so long. You have no idea of the things he's done. Let me help you kill him. Let me help you save everyone. Wait a minute now, guys. I have a crazy theory, guys. She says he's the reason that she was trapped in that case. Guys, we're going to put a clip on screen from all the way back. When we played Poppy Playdown Chapter 1. Now, guys, at the end of Poppy Playdown Chapter 1, when you open her case, you'll notice there's red gas in the case. Do you think the prototype told Catnap to put Poppy to sleep and they put her in that case? Wow. 
You open my case. That's just an Adam theory, guys. That is nuts. And that's why she wants to help us oof catnap because catnap's the one that tried to oof her. So it's almost like catnap and the prototype are one team and then Kissy Missy and Poppy and Huggy and everyone else is on another team, guys. We've all seen you. How capable you are. You killed Huggy. You killed Mommy. You freed me. You are perfect for this. Catnap is coming. He's the final obstacle the prototype has placed against us. We can't stay here. Keep yourself safe. Ollie will call you. That's another big leak, guys. She says the catnap is the final obstacle the prototype has placed. So chapter four, we might get to battle the prototype himself once and for all. Oh, because right now we really don't know that much about the prototype. We've seen his hand a bunch, but not too much. I think the prototype's gonna be the big main boss of chapter four. Yeah, guys, in chapter two, after you stop Mommy Longlegs, he grabs Mommy Longlegs. And in chapter three, when you stop Catnap, he grabs him too. So he collects everyone after they get oofed. Hmm. You don't. Good, you're here. And you've done it again. The impossible. Just like I knew you would. Catnap's gone. The red smoke is diverted. Everything is falling into place thanks to you. But if we're to keep going, then... Then you deserve to have the truth. You came back because of your co-workers. You want to know what happened, and why. This, this is your answer. We called it the hour of joy. I remember hearing every moment of it. Now guys, this is where the story gets really crazy. So basically Poppy says that we, the player, came back because of our, our fellow coworkers, but they're saying there's a thing called the hour of joy. Now guys, in the game, we'll put a clip on screen again from when we play chapter three. In the game, you watch a TV, and the hour of joy is when all the monsters went crazy and oofed every worker. It is really sad. Oh, right. That's why they keep talking about it, because that's when everyone literally got eliminated at the Playtime Factory. Yep. It went on so long, so agonizingly long. They tried to hide, to run, anything to stay alive. Uh -huh. happening what are those things <laughs> senseless slaughter that's all it really was they killed everyone the guilty the innocent didn't matter all that death didn't fix anything and then once it was all over they dragged those corpses down below where they'd never be found and they ate the bodies to stay alive. Guys, that is a giant leak. I don't remember that in the in the game, but that happened. So in the hour of joy, all the monsters came to life. They oofed all the employees. Then they took them down to the basement and they eat them to stay alive. Ew. Every Blech. single person working there. Imagine you were just like a, a custodian or something, scrubbing some toilets. I'd be at them. Ah! And then just get sliced and diced and chopped up like and a they, salad. And they take you to the basement and they eat you. Oh! They, they eat you to stay alive, that's what she just said. Disgusting. I would not want to get eaten by catnap. Prototype has to die for this. For everything. Soon as we reach the bottom, we'll send the lift back up. Just hold tight, okay? After you. All right, once we hit the ground, 
We need to be cautious. There's something... Okay, I didn't realize this either. Again, we'll put a clue on screen. In chapter three, you go in the lift. At the end, you're going down. We're going down to the bottom floor to go find everyone because everyone, they, they she just said right here, they dragged everyone down below where they'd never be found. So we're going deeper and deeper into the factory. We are gonna find the prototype in chapter four. I can, I can tell. So he's at the very bottom of the factory. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wow, at the end you hear Kissy Missy's screams and she's fighting something, but we don't know what it is. It could be her own inner demons. One like equals one prayer for Kissy Missy. Guys, guys, just hold on, we're Kissy Missy. <laughs> just hold on, we're Kissy Missy. Leave yeah. a like. Bro, guys, one like equal one Kissy Missy, bro. And now we're gonna hear all the bonus voice lines from the game, guys. These are from all the cardboard cutouts when you press the button. Let's go. I'm not a good listener, are you? You're a lot like the other humans in that way. I wonder if your screams will sound like theirs too. <laughs> I look forward to finding out. Hello, students. Find my sisters and I to learn facts across a variety of subjects. That's another giant leak. She says, find my sisters and I. So Mr. Light actually has sisters. We might meet them in chapter four. Press my button to hear some facts on anatomy. Did you know that there are 60,000 miles of blood vessels in the human body? For comparison, the earth around the equator is almost 25,000 miles. The smallest bone in your body is the states in your ear. Still, damage it and you risk losing your hearing. Want to learn more about human organs? Pay close attention in class. <laughs> Hello. Hey, I remember you. An elephant always remembers. Huh. Want to know what I remember about you? actually crazy guys now as we're gonna see all of the smiling critters when you press their cardboard cutouts they basically tell a really sad story it starts out funny i'm a bubba bubba fan i remember you but then he says you want to know i remember about you that you were screaming like a little baby wow and it also says on the bottom deceased confirmed by dog day so it is confirmed bubba bubba fan is dead well yeah because dog day said that all the smiling critters were oofed except for him so it's confirmed everywhere let's see what the other ones say hey i'm kicking chicken Wanna go outside and hang out? It's looking pretty bad outside! I've never been outside before. Will you come with me? I'm scared. Here, follow me. I'll step out first. Wow, guys, so again, like I said, it's like a sad story. He starts with, hey, I'm cooking chicken. Want to go outside and hang? But then he says, I've never been outside before. I think when he steps outside and he starts screaming, it's because the sun hits him and starts deep frying him, turns him into KFC. <laughs> it's so funny, man. Hey, that's, that's, funny. True. Hey, that's funny to you? Yeah. It's funny to you? No, it's not. It's not funny. I think that's what happened to him. Piggy Piggy. Hi there. I'm Piggy Piggy. Let's eat. Yeah. Roast beef? Delicious. Grilled chicken down the hatch. Now grilled chicken. They're, they're talking about chicken chicken. Check this out. Feared elephant. Yum. No. That's Bubba Bubba Fant. It's eating its own friends. Uh, they can't do that. Played unicorn. Mm. That's crafty corn. Still hungry. Hey, what do you say you and I be friends? Nope, it's going to eat you. <laughs> Ew. Hoppy Hopscotch! Wanna try hopping to the moon with me? On 
Hurry with me! One, two, three! Heh, <laughs> didn't get very far, did we? Again! One, two, three! Nope, still didn't make it. Listen, this won't stop until we make it to the moon! One, two, no, oh, no! Don't look at your feet! None of that matters! Again! Again! Jump! Jump! Bobby Bear Hug. Hi, I'm Bobby Bear Hug. Want to know how much I love you? How much? I love you to the moon and back. I'm crazy about you. Aww. I'm lost without you. What? I've been lost a long time. Please, take me with you this time. You won't leave me, will you? That's sad. <laughs> Bro, that one's really sad. <gasps> Dog day. Dog day says, fetch! Go, go! As far as you can! Yeah! Why are you just standing there? You can't be here. You can't stay. Huh? <laughs> oh, Crafty Corn. Hi, I'm Crafty Corn. Can you help me with my painting? <laughs> Pass me the blue, please. It's talking about our blood. Yeah, oh, red blood. It's, it says more red. It says you're hiding it from me, bruh. No, we're not. Give it here! Ah, now that's much better. Oh, gross. So it got the red by oofing people. Yeah! Yeah!